Is the theory and development of computer systems able to perform tasks normally requiring human intelligence, such as visual perception, speech recognition, decision making, and translation between languages? What they're really saying is that AI is machines or computer programs that are um, engaging in visual perception, speech recognition, decision making, and translation, and um, other tools as well. And the best way to really uh, explain AI is a, a couple of examples of it in operation. So the first mainstream AI application in South Africa at boardroom level in terms of boardroom decision making was Metropolitan that brought IBM's Watson on board uh, to help with virtual coaching of its um, representatives and people who were at the coal face of interaction with, uh, with clients. And, um, Watson would sit alongside these people, typically in the call center, and guide them in the kind of things they could tell and ask the uh, clients of uh, uh, Metropolitan. And that's a fairly basic usage of it. It's kind of combining what we now know as bots with uh, call center agents. And what that represents is um, what a lot of people see as the real productive future of AI, where it collaborates with human beings. And then the other um, extreme was an example on a live on American TV where IBM Watson was demonstrated in terms of diagnosing cancer patients. And they took a million data points from a thousand cancer patients in the United States. And they showed that in three seconds, Watson could, could come up with 300 therapies for these patients that no human doctor could have come up with because it could have taken too long to develop that uh, therapy in three seconds. And that's artificial intelligence at work. And those are examples of practical problems that are solved by um, AI. But it's really uh, accelerating decision-making uh, in, in unimaginable ways. Mm -hmm.